Do, do. Oh. That's your girl out there dancing with Earl. I'm taking my break. Uh, oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. What now, Brandy? It's real simple, Wally. I've told you before, and I guess I gotta tell you again. You're not going anywhere. But Earl here. He is. He's got some big things going on inside that pretty head of his. What, like rocks? <laughs> his daddy is so happy for us, he's gotten me a fancy car from his dealership. But, but, but what about us? There ain't no us. I'm sorry, Wally. I just got to spread my wings and fly. Y'all, we're going to be right back after this short break. Uh... Thanks, Fred. Good luck, buddy. Come on, Wally. You know it's for the best. So why don't you play a, a song on that fancy guitar for us? It's a mando tar. I've told you that. Come on, banjo boy, play us a song. It's not a banjo. It's <laughs> the same thing. You know, you picked a real genius, Brandy. Genius? Well, sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you for the food we're about to receive. And thank you that no one was hurt last night in the fire. Amen. Heard it was a huge fire last night. It was terrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I'm sure they'll rebuild. Nope. It's over. Well, do they know how it started?
Well, maybe Brandy can help you feel better? Uh, she dumped him in front of the whole crowd last night. Pass the butter, please. I never liked her anyway. She was bougie. levity if you paint it on the side of a race car and sold tickets to see it. What do I do now, Ma? My band? My girl? All my reasons for living just gone. Might as well join the army. I'm gonna join you in one minute. You're not gonna like it. Just practicing my levity. <sighs> Sorry, baby. Anyway, I think you should still go to work. You know, take your mind off things for a while. But I hate working the tackle counter at Miss Patel's hardware shop. Always poke my fingers. And you promised us you'd try your best for at least a year. So you got one month left to go. But yesterday was a disaster. Oh, it wasn't that bad, was it? So see here, you're gonna pinch it there, and you're just gonna put it right through there. You did that on purpose! No, no, I, I, yeah, I no, I no, I didn't! You did that on purpose! Your pa and I have great confidence in you no matter what you do. If you start your own business, volunteered more at church, or even if you went back to farming, whatever you put your mind on, we'll believe in you. Really? Without a doubt. Thanks. Good. Now get to work before you get fired again. Come on, man. Fix your bike. Toss this thing over here. It's not working again. What? Your brain? No. Haha. Ha. Very funny, Miss Patel. You're... The clock is broke! I'm gonna be late! Young people today, they're so eager to work. <laughs> the time clock. It... I think it's broke. Don't do anything funny, okay? Please wait. Great. destroyed too. <laughs> Good. Then I'm going to destroy a paycheck. Now you clean this mess up. <laughs> Here, I was on top. Thank you. And you're still arriving late. I, I can fix it. Ow. 
I can fix it, Miss Patel. Wally, out. All WT. Hey, man! You were right. She's a great You obviously misunderstood. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? She had you lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you mean the time that Fred persuaded Charlie to wear a dog shock collar because she broke her leg and needed to summon him, right? <laughs> she almost killed you. <laughs> <laughs> It actually didn't hurt at all. <laughs> you are killing me, Charlie. Because if my memory serves me correctly, you were passed out on the floor. That might not be such a bad idea. Don't even <laughs> think about it. Speaking of something bad, hear that? Wally's home early. Must have got fired again. Mom, Paul. We're in the living room. Oh, hey, y'all. Oh, who's in the hey, lead? Hey, Wally. Hey, you're home early. Everything all right? Yeah, kinda. Oh, you didn't get fired. Yep. Called it. Shh. The lead is getting tighter, y'all. You hush yourself. This is important. Excuse me, but nothing's more important than NASCAR. Ain't that right? Shoot. True story. Aunt Frida here refused to give birth unless they wheeled a TV into the delivery room during Talladega. <laughs> Y'all don't make me come over there and cut that TV off. Sacrilege! All right, let's all go outside and talk. So, tell me what happened. Mom. Dad. Oh, here it comes. He used the D word, which means money's involved. Dad, I need to leave. Leave this house, this, well, this town. I need to leave this life. Son, you can always join the circus like some of your cousins. You may actually feel right at home. That's not what I mean. I, I need to get far away from here and start over someplace like well, some place like California. Well, what's in California that ain't here? Hollywood. Hollywood? Hollywood. Yeah. See, I want to get citified, and for me, that's the place to do it. Citified? Oh, yeah, you know. We're countrified. And Junior here wants to get civilized. No, no, citified. Look, I'm not going to catch my lucky break here, so I'm, I want to head out west. Son, it ain't about luck. It's about timing and talent. Well, Wally has talent. Well, yeah, but... Son, are you sure this is what you want and not because of that floozy brandy? Yeah, no, no, the answer was in these. This is what you want, to jacuzzis and limos? Well, let me see that. No, it's more than that. You want to leave this Kentucky slice of heaven for, for hedonism? No, that's Las Vegas. Wait, heathen what? Buford T, just because we live in the sticks don't mean the boy can't Google. Look, I made up my mind. All right? I'm going to get on Route 66, and I'm going to take it all the way west to Hollywood. But, but Nashville's just down the road. 
A bit. How about starting there? A man needs to chart his own destiny, regardless of what other folks think he should do. I always hoped you'd stay close, like the rest of the family. But I guess, for now, your road leads elsewhere. Thanks, Dad. Well, that was lovely, but not quite the response I was hoping for. We'll help in any way we can, son. Wally, the good Lord will protect you, as all things will be for his divine plan. Yeah. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thanks, Mom. Oh, can I have a thousand dollars? Yeah. Called it. Well, end of the road for me. Uh, but for you, my boy, over there, it's just the beginning. I, I sure hope so. You know, I'm proud of you, son, that you're reaching for your dreams. Not every man can say that. Yes, sir. <laughs> You know, if you ever need anything, advice or, you know, words of encouragement, call your mother. Yeah, yeah, it makes most sense. Yeah, that'd be best, yeah. Almost a thousand dollars there. Watch that. Keep the Lord close, and he'll see you through. Thanks, Pa. I, I, well, I promise to write. Get writing? Send pictures. <laughs> I will. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Go get it. Yeah. All right. All right. Take 10 tickets, please. But you say 10? That's right. 10 tickets for each one of my little angels. Hey, stop fighting with your sister! Uh, yeah, just, just one, please, for, for Los Angeles, California. I'm sorry, sir, but the gentleman right before you just bought the rest of the tickets for this bus. You'll have to wait for the next one. Well, all right, when, when's that, like a couple hours? Thursday. But it's Monday. Would you like to buy one? No. No, no thanks. I, I think I hear my destiny calling. <laughs>
Uh, what the? No. No, 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 no. no. Please, God, I'm so hungry, I could eat anything. Wow, you work fast. Thanks. <laughs> hi. Yeah, hi. Flavor? I was actually, I saw this on the street, uh, a flyer for- It don't for, say. Well, no, actually, it does say. It says right here, it says free ice cream, see? I can that, read, you dolt. Right, yeah, no, <laughs> very, very true. Flavor? Well, I guess I'll do, I'll do vanilla then. Oh, original. All right, uh, well then, sorry, can I actually do the, uh, the very, very strawberry, please? Fine. Oh, oh, actually, sorry. Can I do the uh, the chocolate passion fruit? What is passion fruit? Is that good? It's phenomenal. Okay, but you didn't say great, so now you got me thinking that maybe I want to go back. Is it gonna back. take all night? Because we close in five minutes, so pick one. Oh, all right, um. Now! Oh, I'll just do the rocky road. Good. Just trying to be friendly. Hold out your hand. What? The thing on the end of your arm with the five sausages dangling from it. Why do you need my hand? For the scoop. I don't get a cone? If you want one, that'll be three fifty. Oh, joy. What? What? No, I just... Oh, that's your ne Never mind. I'm... One per customer. Have a nice night. Come again. Cash or credit? Me? Yeah. Trash can you just used is ours. You use it, you pay the going rate. What are you guys, some kind of street tax collectors or something? <laughs> <laughs> what do we look like? Backstreet boys. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, no, I figured, you know, the, the fancy clothes and the y'all are in a group together. I figure you're a performing group of some kind. This is just a side gig, right? Is he for real? No, I know a band when I see one. I, I, I'm in a band too, actually. Or maybe we could be a gang. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Y'all are straight cat gang. I, I love you guys. I listen to your music all the time. See, I told you this style was like. You should have picked a color, not a pattern. With cats. Mm -hmm. See, he's got a point. Nobody understands us, like this guy and see what happens? No, he's just an idiot. We'll teach him to respect the alley cats. Is that your new single? Look, kid, give us the money or we'll beat the snot out of you. M money? I, I don't have any money. So what did you buy your ice cream with? Your dance moves? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was free. He's right, they do that. They get you inside them. Hit you up for the cone. Or they put it in your hands. Ooh, that's just cold. Yeah, no, literally. Okay. Comedian. 
What's in the case? It's fine to look, but if you touch, you gotta pay my fee. Save me. <laughs> uh, it's Miss Sarducci to you. Right, huh. Miss Sarducci. Uh, we we were uh we were just helping this fine young gentleman. Uh, he seemed lost, and we were helping him on the way. Well, that's just sweet and uncharacteristic. Uh. Well, leave him to me. Y'all run along, play nice. Right, Miss Sarducci. <laughs> oh. So, uh, what's your name? Uh, Wallace, Wallace Monroe, but, but my friends call me Wally. So, Wallace, uh, do you know where you are? Yeah, yeah, St. Louis, right? Yeah, like the roughest part. Your car break down? No, no, I, I, I don't have a car, but, oh, but I did get robbed on a train earlier, so. Busy day. Yeah. Well, it sounds like your luck has changed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you almost became a statistic, so. You can stick around here, or come with me. I think I'm gonna go with you. So, so are you like some kind of ninja or something? I mean, I mean those guys seem really tough. They... <laughs> what? Oh, please. I mean, they just seem to really respect you. Me? No, my Uncle Bobby. Yes. Oh. He uh, sort of runs this part of town. Huh. You really are from the other side of the tracks, aren't you? Yeah, Central City, Kentucky. <laughs> Never heard of it. Well, most people have it. So now where are you headed, Wallace? I'm head west, California. You think your travel agent booked you the long way? Oh, well, my dad told me that Route 66 was the fastest way to get there, so. Your dad needs an updated road map. <laughs> huh? Route 66 used to be. Eh, eh, never mind. It's the long way now. Well, how would you know that? Because I'm a truck driver, and the road is my jam. That's cool. Dear my palm, Peggy, I've made a new friend, and her name is Sandy. She's a real expert on highways and is helping me cross the country. My luck has finally turned. Sandy is really cool. I wish you could meet her. She's an amazing truck driver and has told me all about Route 66 and super highways and even gave me her backpack and a water bottle, snacks, and a huge map. to Albuquerque, I was pretty bummed. Okay, Wallace. Albuquerque, New Mexico, last stop. So, uh, I kind of want to go, but I also kind of don't want to go. 
What? And miss you a big chance? Are you kidding? Hey, I got places to go and so do you. Go on, scoop. You're gonna mess up my delivery schedule. But you're not gonna forget me, are you? What? <laughs> nah. You gave me that postcard with the address on it? I'll look you up someday. Bye. Good luck, Wally. Wait, did you just call me? Maybe. Or it was just a slip. Go catch your dreams. Sandy was gone, and I was thinking I made a mistake. But I soon met a really nice family outside of the Denny's who heard me playing and asked if I needed a lift. I said yes, and then things got a little weird. They're headed to the Grand Canyon, and Flagstaff is along the way, so I said sure. Hey, uh, you all hungry back there? Yeah, I, I, I could eat if you got it. Me too. Got sandwiches. OK, here we go. Don't make a mess. Not a crumb. Not a crumb. Not a crumb. Don't make a mess. She's kind of scary. She's always like this. Dad, I'm not feeling too good. You don't look too good either. I think you need to pull over, babe. You'll be fine. Yeah, he's he's looking kind of green. Don't get on me. Stick your head out the window. It got a bit dicey though when one of the kids got sick in the back seat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> After the slight detour, we made it to the mountains where it was cooler and thankfully no more barfing. And then, it happened. That famous band, Cactus Moon Saloon, was setting up for a show as we pulled up, and I got my lucky break. Oh! Literally, as in fingers, all 10. Oh no, what happened? Look, his hand! Now where am I gonna find a mandolin player in Flagstaff? Hey, Wally has a manitar. Would that work? Amanda, what? It sounds like a mandolin, but it's it's just a soprano guitar. And you know our music? Yeah, all of it. And you could play? He's amazing. It's a miracle. As my mother would say, is it odd or is it God? I'll take God any day. <laughs> now, Stu, let's get Rich off to the hospital. And Wally, let's get him backstage and let's try him out. So my first gig was a hit. I wish y'all could have been there to see it. In fact, it went so well, the band asked me to fill in on a few shows in Las Vegas and, yeah, California. But then, over time, it hit me. Even though I now had the bright lights and the crowds I thought I wanted, it felt hollow. It turns out, playing in a band without y'all is not the same as playing for folks I don't know. Sandy stayed in touch. And even Miss Patel asked Pa when I was coming back to Verk. So being citified was pretty cool. Yes, I made it to LA, but it turns out it wasn't what I was looking for after all. It was my family, friends, even a new fan who's pretty hot. Yup, life is pretty sweet. Even Miss Patel turned out to be cool too. You know, one thing I learned in this adventure is how the spotlight is bigger and brighter when you take it off yourself and share it with your friends and family. Have mercy. I'm just kidding. Go and save it the mercy to somebody else. It ain't good for my head. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry because you kind of wasted the ball. 
Earl. Uh, is that your Earl? Who are they? Wally's bodyguards. The traffic cones. The traffic what? Cones. With a Z. Hey, Wally. Go get your girl. Does the guitar ride off the ship?